Hey everybody, so I just wanted to talk real quick today about why I don't watch television. So I get this question all the time, you know, like, so did you see the new BT Awards or did you watch the the Stella Awards or did you see such and such on TV or you know this show that I'm talking about? Um, no, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> and people are usually shocked by that. One, because I'm an actress and, you know, I've, I've done film, I've done television, I've done, you know, I do live shows, but but that's, that's my job. Like, I, it has nothing to do with what I do at home. So, no, I don't watch these award shows and I didn't see that on the news. And here's why. Um, for one, the, the news really can be a very 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 negative source um and the news actually puts in um a lot of negative things you know what i'm saying out out to the out to you um and and on purpose and that's because it's a paid source to actually keep you in fear and so um again when in reading the bible fear fear is not of god you see what I'm saying? So one thing I'm not gonna do is sit and watch the tell lie vision. So remember, lie is in that word, tell lie vision. It's a bunch of lies. And it's actually um, really, really um, sad because a lot of people, you know, sit in front of the, the tell lie vision and they watch other people live their lives and never live their own life, <laughs> never. They're always wishing, dreaming, shoulda, coulda, woulda while they're watching television, watching these movies, um, but also rem forgetting to live their own life. And they're taking in every single commercial, every single thought, every single program message that they put out to you. Now also remember, television is a program. It's a television program. Um, I'm in entertainment, so I definitely understand a lot of these programs are programmed, meaning someone writes them out, someone puts together a treatment for this program because they want you to get the idea or they want you to conform or they want you to think or believe whatever the message is they're trying to give, okay? So it's programming. That's why it's called television programming. It's no different than um, programming someone in a negative way. And, and truly and essentially, that's what they're doing. Because you can na name right now positive actual news sources that you watch and hear about every day. Name them. <laughs> exactly. There, there's, there's very few, and that's also because, um, as humans, we actually are attracted to the negative. It's, it goes back to like being a child. You normally don't have to tell your child, you know, hey, um, don't. You, you're, you're normally telling them to stop doing something. You have to teach them really what's right right we have to say hey don't touch that don't put this in your mouth don't do that they naturally go for the bad thing first so it's no different it's no different with us so when it comes to television we're naturally attracted to negative things and so if you're not careful you will always begin to realize your thoughts and things that are happening into your life become negative. And it's because what you're feeding yourself. And what people don't understand is when you talk about feeding yourself, we're not talking about just food, guys. We're talking about what you feed yourself, okay? What you also hear, what you see, what you intake, what you ingest. I gave this analogy in, an, in another video. Um, what you hear... E-A-R goes into your heart, okay? Your H-E-A-R-T, all right? So watching the news and watching media, you're also listening. Not just watching, but you're listening and you're taking this negativity in, okay? Which means these now become your thoughts, which is going to do nothing but perpetuate more fear. Because that's all the news is, don't do this. There's crime here. There's crime there. But, but I want to ask you a question. So... Who's actually paying these news sources? Do they just go out and report this news for free? Do they just go out and find these quote unquote numbers or, or statistics? How and why are they doing it? It's not really just to inform you. It's to program how you think. 
You know what I mean? So this is why I don't watch television. One, because I'm a creator and I can create whatever it is that I want to watch. You know what I mean? Which will be positive things. But two, it's because I don't believe in in in, in putting fear and instilling fear and, and watching a program to do that. You know what I mean? So again, remember that the media and 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 to take take this too. The news doesn't just come from the actual news channels anymore. We're actually getting news on our phones now. We're actually getting news articles. We're getting um social media who will actually put out articles, but we've already known and have already found out that a lot of this stuff is fake news. You know what I mean? A lot of it is fake news. A lot of these polls are fake news, but but we take them as real. And forgetting that a lot of these things are paid sources to make you believe or to make you act as if. And it's a control mechanism. It's to be controlled. So when you actually can watch television now, the news can actually put out, you know, you know, you should take this or, or take that. We're not really going to get into it, but you 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 should do this or everybody's doing it or you can't come here unless you are, you know, you've taken it. You know what I mean? And then everybody jumps on that bandwagon and actually to make other people feel peer pressure. So if I don't do this, I'm I'm not accepted. When, when now only to find out a few months later, uh, it's a whole nother thing coming out and um, your stuff is invalid now as well. But yet you've made everyone feel as if they didn't do what you wanted them to do, that they were, you know, they don't belong. That's peer pressure. Not only that, that's instilling fear among people. And they're actually doing this without even having any proof, any proof that whatever they're talking about works. None. You don't know a year from now, two years from now, how that's going to affect your body. But yet you were programmed by television, by what everybody else was saying. And you went ahead and did it, too, <laughs> which lets you know that you kind of really don't stand for anything. And I say that because you believe anything that you hear without research. And then the re and then when people are actually showing how these things are affecting them or their bodies, Oh, well, that didn't happen to me. Okay, well, it happened to other people. You believed you believed this, but you won't believe that. So that's what trips me out. So that's why I really don't don't get into it. And I really don't want to speak exactly what it is because um, I don't even want to entertain it, to be honest. But my whole point is saying why I don't watch television is because I won't be programmed by anybody's programming but my own <laughs> you know what I mean and my own includes positivity you know what I'm saying um th knowledge that is gonna help me you know so that I have because the bible states that our people will perish for a lack of knowledge we have no knowledge and the thing is is we're in a world of internet now you can go see you can learn anything that you want to in the world today you really, really can, but yet we're still believing lies. We're still doing things that didn't work. So so let's take this. So television is TV programming, which we already realize that when, when, when someone is programmed, their, their mind is retrobated, meaning, you know, they actually really it's no hope for them because they're going to believe anything they see. Now, let's go back. Back in the day, to actually instill fear into people or to an entire country or to a section of people, they actually used to have to take over that entire city. Horses, Trojans, and they used to come in and take over entire cities, kill women, men, everybody to, to instill fear to let you know, like, we're not to be played with, right? That's how it used to work. You, you actually had to fight to actually instill fear into someone. You actually had to prove your point. Today, the only thing you have to do is turn on your TV, to, uh, go to your social media, and now they will make you scared to come outside, scared to be around other people. They will make, the, you will be terrified to go eat in a restaurant. And then we're not even going to go there because some of y'all so terrified to eat in a restaurant or, or, or to go to work because they don't have these quote unquote 
COVID guidelines, but yet you'll go eat in a restaurant, have people right next to you, no mask on, no nothing, but yet you're afraid of COVID and won't go to work and won't do other things. It's like, don't even get me started because people will pick and choose on what they're going to be fearful about when it's convenient for them. So again, I'm not even talking about to those people because those people, we clearly you, you, <laughs> it is something it's something going on with that there's a disconnect um, for airborne disease you know what i'm saying but anyway um so so let's go back to you know you're being you're being programmed a by the tv tell lie vision that's telling lies about people's lives these are made up stories a lot of this stuff is scripted you know what I mean? And now you have these images in your head and and these projections of things that you want to be. For instance, even celebrities. For for one, why would you why would you think that someone is a celebrity? A person that's a celebrity, the word means that they're actually celebrated, right? Someone that's celebrated for their accomplishments. But a lot of these people that you guys are actually celebrating have no talent. They have no skills. They've done nothing. They've done nothing for their community. They don't have a talent. You know what I mean? They are just basically doing whatever it is to get attention. And you call these people celebrities. You actually have your kids watch them and 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 want to be them, create an image in their head that someone else is better than them. That that's a lie. Again, a tell lie vision. Because most of these celebrities are definitely not what you think they are. They definitely don't have what you think they have. Period point blank. Most of them are struggling. Most of them are depressed. Most of that. Why you think they die of drugs and alcohol? Why you think they always peeled up? You're now listening to artists that actually celebrate the fact that they're on drugs. And you actually think there are celebrities. You think they're people to be honored. <laughs> Mind blowing. You know what I mean? It's just it's, it's just like kind of like back in the 80s celebrating a crackhead. Wow. What? You must be stupid yourself if you actually believe these lies that they put on television and these people that they try to hold you on, hold them on pedestals and call them celebrities, make you think that they have more than you. They don't have more than you. They actually, once they sign those contracts, <laughs> because they, they fell into the same lie that you did by growing up their whole life, dreaming to be, dreaming to be on top of the world, but yet they sold their souls for it because they were lied to by the television. And at what point are we going to stop believing these lies? These are complete lies. These people have no self-confidence. They are the most... Um, most of them are the most miserable people on earth. They they once they once they go through that process, they they want to be you. They want to be free. And see because they believe the lie, because they would do anything now to live that lifestyle and now they got to do anything to keep it up. They they they're stuck. They're actually the walking dead. They're miserable. Because it's an ongoing cycle. Why do you think a lot of them come out and finally break their oaths? of don't get into this industry that why do you think that why do you think that happens <laughs> exactly because they were lied to they were absolutely lied to by the media by 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 the news by the news sources and so we have to actually begin to take that away from our seeds our children and yourself Fast, go on a, a no media fast because you cannot believe every single thing that you hear in the news. Period, point blank. It's done for a reason and it's definitely done to instill fear. So I don't watch television for that reason. Now, mind you, if there's a, a storm or, or um, a hurricane or I don't know, something that I need to know, trust me, somebody gonna call and tell me. And now we got these alarms on our phones that, that actually will put out the signal and let you know flood warning coming. I don't gotta watch the news. Trust me, I, I don't. You know what I'm saying? Um, the other thing is, so back to you've been programmed by the tell lie vision, telling lies, giving you an actual vision that they want you to see. The television actually gives you their vision that they want you to see instead of the opposite. 
You have to have your own vision. That's why it's important to have your own vision, your own dreams, um, your own goals, your your self motivation. You know what I mean? You you have to have these things, or you will be lied to by the media. So you you've been lied to. You've been programmed. You've been given other visions which are not yours. And on top of that, they give you a remote control, which means they now can contr control you remotely. Meaning you can go to the kitchen, the TV way in the other room, and, and you now can still control your mind. They can still control your mind remotely. It's insane. <laughs> it's actually crazy, right? But people, But people don't get it. They really, really don't. They're actually addicted to the negativity that they see and hear and read on all media sources. So um, do me a favor. Try when you watch the news now, if you're one of those people, if you're constantly scrolling, reading articles, constantly on the, um, you know, the I don't even know, the celebrity magazines, constantly trying to figure about figure out about this artist and and that artist and, and all of this fast from that for a second. St take a step back and really see what's really real and what's not, because I guarantee you, you will find out that you've been lied to straight out and i am so grateful i'm 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 grateful to god because as i grew up zelina my name means girl of nature and i grew up in the woods literally you know what i'm saying i grew up in a neighborhood that was surrounded by woods um in the country i spent the majority of my time outside barefooted running play we had a, a creek in our backyard um climbing trees, doing all kinds of, of, of country stuff. I spent the most, the majority of my time outside creating my own visions. You know what I'm saying? My own vision of my life. I didn't sit, there's, there's so many cartoons that people can talk about. Oh, you remember this cartoon? You remember this? You know the theme song of this? No, I don't. I didn't, as a kid, I didn't watch television. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, also we didn't have cable. But there were I, I there were many other places, my friends' houses, my auntie houses, other play, play places I could have watched television, but that's just not my thing. Then going into college, I didn't have a TV in my room. <laughs> For what? By that time, I had already trained my mind that that's not even something that I really needed. You know what I'm saying? And definitely as an adult, you know, the only reason I had a, a a real television is because I had visitors come over and I might want to watch something. Now, don't get me wrong. It ain't like I just don't watch um, television at all. But usually if I'm watching it, it's some sort of educational program. I'm usually learning something. I'm usually taking a class or a course or watching a documentary, something that's truly interesting to me that I know is based on facts, not fiction. You know what I mean? Um and it has to be something I really, really, you know, like I say, that I really want to see. But that's also something that I want to see. I'm going to have a discussion after the fact. It had to be something educational, something that I can learn. I'm not just watching television, spending hours of my day just to be watching it. <laughs> just because I'm bored. It's not going to happen. I could be out learning something, doing something. And my grandma used to call it the stupid box. So you going to sit in front of the stupid box all day? I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? It does nothing but dumb you down. It does nothing but continue to program you to keep you on a lower vibration level that you don't even know you're on. You're actually put under a spell. It, it, it's unbelievable. You know what I mean? And you have to be careful with music, television, all of these things that you are constantly being programmed by and you don't even have any clue because it's a part of your daily routine with negativity so try to you know in, in this next week do yourself a favor try to fast from the media see how much more clear you think see how much more you rest you know what i mean or don't rest because if, if, if you can't rest then that lets you know you're addicted and most people are but you should be able to rest. You should be able to put your mind at a little bit more peaceful state. You know what I'm saying? Without the media. So that's why I don't watch television. That's why I'm not into the media. That's why I'm not into the news. Because 
I refuse to be programmed. <laughs> so anyway, thank y'all for watching. I'll talk to you soon. And don't forget, if you want to chat, just hit me up. <laughs>